Okay, so uh, here is the Domi 33. Domi Theater 33 inch. It's in pretty good shape. Had, uh, had this plastic repainted. Um, just to wipe it down a little bit. I have dirty hands. Uh, we repainted this uh, metal bezel because it had like flaking paint and rust. And then um, the paint guy had masked off the original decal because I didn't want to run the risk of the decal being damaged. Or like making a repro that's not, that's just like really expensive to deal with. Um, so yeah, it's a, got a six player layout. Two player six button for your fighting games. So you have, um, you have two locks up here that hold this piece. Comes off. That's how you get access to this plastic to change the arts. So we will just tape that closed. It's all in very good shape. Even the, the color on the screen printed art for the little nameplate is in very good condition. There's very little rust on this. Um, it has all the locking tangs and things. And so, you know, the, the party trick is that it's 33 inches, um, and it has a rotation feature. So you pull the control panel up, this whole piece lifts up. There's a multi-stage kickstand that holds this whole thing up. So, when you first pull it out, it's pulling this piece right here, um, which is already collapsed down and tucked down here. It pulls this out and then it catches a latch down here. And then that's when you extend. And then there's a second latch right here that uh, catches, so it locks in place. And so, you know, typically, you know, like your usual things like with kickstands and stuff to let it go, you just kind of lift up and then uh, kick this out this way to unlock. They left, they left us very nice notes. So the first thing you want to do is unlock this piece. So lift up and then push this little screw out and it'll slide down to here. And then when it goes all the way down, you push this uh, bar, which is latched in right now. You push, because it's on a spring-loaded piece here. You push this out, and then you just lower the whole rest of the thing. And then, um, this tube is immaculate. It has, like, no burn-in. Which is, like, amazing. Um, the rotation mech holds with so they leave little notes. Uh, these little thumb screws. There's one there. And there's one here. So you take these out. You take these screws out. And then you can grab the handle here and just rotate it. And the rotation mech runs on these huge steel um, bearing rollers. Um, so like nothing is cheap on this at all. It's all very sturdy. Um, yeah, and it's very heavy. The whole thing runs on casters as well. So. There's little handles here. Let's see what I'm talking about. They have a, it's like a two-stage thing. So like when you pull it out, you can drop it. 
it'll still catch here, so you have to lift and push this rod. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. But, yeah, I can't do it one-handed. But, um, or yeah, I can. Okay. So, yeah, you lift that and you push on it. And it'll tuck the whole rest of the way down here. There's a little spot for it to go. Um, it's stereo, it has stereo left and right separation volume knobs. Um, this is where the remote board was mounted. I don't know why they pulled it off of there, but I'm just gonna leave it off. Um, yeah, you have a decently sized little spot for your PCB. Um, it's a cash box. There's two power switches. There's one up there. There's one here. And then um, the chassis is a 33 inch Taxan chassis. Um, it's dual sync. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the input selection is, but I'm I'm thinking it's these um, these little. Let me find something. These little. Uh, there's a port here and one here that goes to the neck board. Um, but I'm not sure, they're keyed the same, but I'm not sure, I don't know where else the 24 kilohertz selection would be, unless it automatically determines it, which that would be really cool. Um, so yeah. There's also, um, uh, I don't have it with me now, but there was also included with this, it's in the cash box, which is way over there, a, uh, um, stereo header, uh, so they have a breakout on this speaker cable, so as long as you have, like, amplified stereo on a JAMA board, you can plug it in there, and it plugs into that, but yeah, the monitor is really nice, it's very big, 33 inch, and yeah, the machine's on casters, so it just rolls. It's like a new net city. It just rolls. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd do uh, another overview on the Domi Theater, the 33 inch candy cabinet. So, yeah, it's a nice cabinet. I've had it running for several hours now. We've recapped everything, recapped the chassis. Recap the power supply, repainted the front um, metal shroud. This is metal, the whole thing's metal, except for this. This is plastic, and then there's like some plastic uh, accent pieces um, left on here. Um, and then like some other things, but like most of this is plastic, and then this is glass. So, yeah. Anyways, just thought I'd make like a little video on this.